Now it's time to meet tonight's passionate collector, Steve Jackson. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. You collect these fantastic vintage guitars. Tell us about this one. Well, this is a very rare 1960 Stratocaster and a very unique rare sunburst, and it's in amazing condition. And it's also got the original booklet on the back with price of $289.50, it seems all right. Well, it's gone up a little since then. This guitar in the marketplace would fetch around about 125000 125000 And rising. Well, let's have a look at the whole collection. I've always loved guitars, and it was really back, inspired by the Beatles. I was very excited about them coming to Australia, and whenever I could, I'd grab the tennis racket, play along with the songs. And uh, they were my major inspirations, and really ignited my passion for guitars. I just love the look of guitars. They just look so cool. They're such a great art form. It's just such a great feel to have nice old vintage wood and have the sound and the resonance of the guitar. And, and of course, for me, it brings back memories of, of playing. This is where it all started for me. 1964 Fender Jaguar Fiesta Red. And I bought this one back in 1974, and it was $250. This is where I got started collecting guitars. I actually sold it, and Martin Rotzi from Midnight Oil came out. And uh, had it for quite some years. Used it on um, extensively live and also on some film clips. Well, here we have the first commercial production line electric guitar, and Leo Fender came up with this idea in 1950. And uh, this is a very early example in, in amazing condition, and just to have one of these is uh, quite spectacular. This is my lockup, and this is where I keep a lot of my vintage guitars. There's 35, 40 in here. Here we have a 1963 Stratocaster in near new condition. It still has the original factory booklet. Well, this is a guitar which guitar collectors dream of finding, and it's virtually what they call under the bed condition, where someone has bought this guitar new and then literally slid it under the bed. This here is the most valuable guitar I have. It's a 1960 Les Paul Standard, and it is the holy grail of electric guitars. It uh, is the original sunburst finish, and the more flame you see in the top here in the maple, the more valuable the guitar is. My wife's been around music for a long time. She was a, a manager of a record studio, so. But my young children, they're very much into guitar. They love guitar. Encourages me to play a lot more these days since I've stopped touring and, and playing and recording. And uh, it's exciting to see them play guitar and it takes me back to my own childhood. And what would you have done, Steve, if one of your kids wanted to be a drummer? Well, I used to be a drummer, so I started <laughs> right. with drums and then went to guitar. So I'd, I'd probably say that's, that's cool. And we saw in the piece there the red Fender Jaguar. That actually left your collection and then you got it back. I kept a close eye on that guitar. <laughs> And uh, when the opportunity arose to get the guitar back again, I certainly did. So with the vintage guitars, you can actually tell there's a different sound? Definitely you can tell. And with the Stratocaster, it's that mellow, hollow tone, especially like the Hank Marvin type. Hollow Strat tones. And Gordon, we're looking at these as instruments, but you're looking from a different perspective, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm seeing door signs go whizzing yeah. across my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're a dealer as well as a collector, and that's, that's always a bit tricky, isn't it? It is, and it's a challenge. You get the odd story of a guitar that got away. I sold this guitar for $200, and now it's worth that. 100,000, well, sure. I've got a million of those stories. Yeah. Of course you have. They've been ranked at the moment throughout America as the number one investment in collectibles, and uh, the returns have been greater 
than some real estate in, on the stock exchange. So guitars are hot. Guitars are traditionally quite a masculine sort of an instrument um, and I know that lots of women play as well, but are women collecting them? More and more so with the investment potential. Okay, so not just musicians? Well, no, people use them as a decorative form. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that it's the most important instrument of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. I mean, and because people locate themselves, their social identity in the music of particular periods of their life, the guitar figures. I mean, you know, everyone's got to ask themselves, what am I going to have to represent me in my house? And a Les Paul or a Fender guitar on the wall says, you're a successful dentist. <laughs> 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 or a successful yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever. And you've had your store for 20 years. Are you ever surprised by a case that's put up on your counter, someone opens it, and what's inside? Just recently, a, a fellow walked into the store and had a Les Paul, 1960, and he had it insured for $6,000, and he almost fell over when I told I him told it was worth, what it was worth. 300000 Wow. Oh, what a great wow. surprise. He was shocked. He was absolutely Bad. blown away. Well, thanks for coming in and showing us your guitars and also More taking us welcome. through your collection. Just mm. outstanding. Anytime. Thank you.